Lent is a really unique season within the Catholic Church, and there's a lot of different ideas around it. Obviously, the focus of it is sort of the culmination of the Christian faith with the uh, final days of Jesus's ministry leading to his death, but then ultimately his resurrection. So when you're talking with children, sometimes that can be a complicated topic to talk about. Um, we also have traditions, things like what are we going to give up for Lent and things of that nature, which we tie back to the sacrifice that Jesus made to us. And so I think the balance is somewhere in the middle of that, always to be cognizant of the fact that we need to be developmentally and age appropriate as well. And I think parents know that best for their children and for their environment in their home. And I guess what I would say, especially to parents, is give yourself some grace in those moments. No answer is necessarily perfect. You're likely going to be caught off guard. But I think the questions are very good, right? We want to, I think, cultivate in a healthy way an inquisitive and a curious imagination among our children because it leads to bigger and better things like critical thinking skills, being able to analyze things, process both emotions and facts together. Um, and, and so that is something that we can all work together within. And the season's one where you can really focus on some core ideas like um, intentionality, gratitude, generosity, charity, reaching out to the other who may be in need, looking for those opportunities. So I would say that some very specific things that you can engage in that we try to attempt to do are look for service opportunities. Maybe they're provided by the church that you worship at within that community. Maybe it's part of a school that your children go to or connect with great organizations in your community like Catholic Charities or a food bank or something of that nature where there's always gonna be a need that you can help meet. So one thing that I would encourage families to do is, is also to, if, if there are ways that are possible, make theology practical, right? See how you can bring it to life. And so one way that Katie and I attempt to do that is there's a great spiritual exercise or prayer, if you will, that's very near and dear to the Jesuit religious order. It's called the examine, and it usually happens at the end of the day. And so we tried our best to adopt that even when the kids were as little as they were. And Katie came up with a beautiful idea. And it was two questions, essentially, that we would ask the boys before we went to sleep at night. And the first was, what's the best thing that happened to you today? And of course, they love that question. They're going to go on and on talking about as many wonderful things as they've experienced. And then the second question is a little bit more reflective, which is, what are the times at which you weren't your best today? What, where were those challenges that you experienced? What might you would have wished to do over? Or how could you view not falling into that same trap, if you will. And so uh, those were just great, valuable conversations. I mean, we have so many examples that we think of and that are near and dear to our heart. And then after asking those questions and listening to the responses, we would then just simply sum it up and say, thank you, God, for those amazing and those best things that happened to us today. And forgive us for the times that we weren't our best. And end it with a simple amen, and then look forward to the next day and see what opportunities came our way.